Since Repair Clinic encourages you to perform this repair safely, a warning icon will appear when you should use caution. Whether your repair is simple or complex, you'll be more successful if you break the procedure down into steps, making it more manageable. I'll take you through this part replacement repair one step at a time. To replace the buzzer signal in your GE dryer, you will need a drill driver with a quarter inch bit and needle nose pliers. Before you begin the procedure, unplug the power to the appliance. Remove the knob from the backsplash. Unthread the five screws on the panel. Any missing screws can be ordered through the links in the description below. Pull out and lift the panel from the backsplash. Detach the ground wire. Noting the orientation of the wires, detach the red and black wires. Pull back the tab and twist counterclockwise to free the buzzer. To install the new buzzer signal switch, with the switch tab pointing down, insert the switch and twist clockwise to lock it in place. Reattach the red and black wires. Reattach the ground wire to the panel. Insert the panel tabs into the slots on the dryer. Rethread the five screws. Align the knob on the D-shaft and press into place. Plug in the dryer. And your dryer should be ready for use.